Hi guys, it has been, it has been a minute since I've filmed and I'm excited to be filming today and like before I get in to everything and answering your questions and everything, I just wanna say very, very quickly, thank you. Thank you so much for all of your support, all of your comments, messages, tweets, emails, everything. I feel so incredibly lucky to have you guys in my life. I feel very blessed to have all of the love and overwhelming support from you guys. Um, this has very clearly been a rough couple of weeks for myself and Chris and our family and knowing how much you guys care and the stories that you've shared with me, it's been just, I feel a lot of love. And so I just wanted to say that right off the bat. Um, that's been wonderful and it's really helped me a lot. And so I just wanted to start off by saying thank you. And today I'm feeling pretty good. Like I am excited to be playing around with makeup a little bit today. And I decided to actually film downstairs. Um, I don't know, I, I just didn't feel like filming in my filming space today. I Because this is such a personal video and because when I have been doing makeup, I've been doing it downstairs and kind of like being around family and everything. This just feels, this just feels more comfortable to me right now. So I hope you guys like this video. I have so many questions from you guys and I wanna get right into it. Um, I need to get ready for the day anyway. So um, give this video a thumbs up if you like get ready with me videos if you love these types of Q&A videos. And again, thank you so much for all of your support over the last couple of weeks. I really, really appreciate it. And um, yeah, without further ado, let's get into this. Whew, it has been a while since I have said that. So where do I start? Most of the questions, like I would say, like probably 75% of the questions that I got on Instagram, like thousands of questions, guys, most of them were, how are you? How are you doing? How are you feeling? What's going on? Like, what? how's your mental state been? Just like very genuine, loving questions. And that's why I love this, because you guys just genuinely care. And that means a lot to me. As you can probably guess, like the last couple of weeks have been a bit of a roller coaster um, for myself and for Chris and obviously anyone else in um, my family. Um, but it's been, every day has been a little bit better. Every day has been a little bit easier. There are less rough bumpy patches in the day and it becomes a little easier to talk about it and not cry. And I mean, it just, with time continues to get easier. There will be moments and I know it and I prepared myself for it. There will be moments on the due date of baby and Christmas and things like that, that I'm going to, oh, I'm not gonna cry. It just everything feels like it's getting a little bit back to normal, back into a routine of things. And I think I was struggling, a lot of you guys noticed on Twitter that I have been kind of up and down a lot. Um, by the way, I'm using, this is by Lawless. This is the Woke Up Like This foundation. I've never used this one before, um, so we're gonna test it out today. Everyone's been noticing that I've been very like up and down a lot. And I think the primary reason for that is that I, I, I just wanted to feel better. And I was so tired, like I'm not an emotional person. I don't like, I don't like crying. I don't like, I don't like emoting. It was just a very heavy first week and I just kind of wanted to be done with it, which I understand I can't do. You can't force the process. And so, this is even my color, that might be a little dark. And so I tried after first kind of like leaving everything and just like not answering emails and not doing anything. Um, I tried to just sort of go back into it 100% and it was just so, so overwhelming. I was not prepared for that at all. And I just sort of crashed. And uh, so that wasn't great. Won't be doing that again. And I've learned that I just kind of need to like ease myself into the process a little bit instead of going all in. And so it was just like answering a couple of emails and then, you know, retreating back and then um, doing a little bit of, you know, brainstorming and then retreating back. And that, helped me a little bit. This foundation smells, it smells really nice, almost a little citrusy. 
I like that. But back to my emotional and kind of mental state, Chris and I have been leaning really, really heavily on each other in the, in the process of mourning and um, that's been really important for me, having him there as a rock and just allowing myself to be emotional and feel everything um, has been really important. But both of us are sort of getting back on our feet, getting back into work and everything. And um, yeah, I'm, I appreciate everyone asking and checking in on me. Um, I am actually, I get, I got a lot of questions, speaking of which, on my anxiety and my mental health and depression and how I got through everything and what I'm doing now. And I'm actually going to do a whole get ready with me Q and A on my anxiety and depression. So check Instagram or Twitter um, because I will in the next, like I think probably in the next two weeks or so, um, be asking you guys to send me your questions and I will be doing a video like specifically on that and what's worked for me, what hasn't worked for me, and how I've sort of found my rhythm with everything. The other really popular question was how, because I, I want to get all of these like very like deep questions, I kind of want to get them over with. Can you tell? I'm really uncomfortable with emotions. The other question that I've been getting a lot was um, how the kids are doing and how they dealt with it, and Luke is really, like he's not even three yet, so he doesn't really understand what's going on, which is normal. He understands that um, Michael is now in heaven with God, and that's about all he understands from what he can pair it back. Julia, um, when we first told her, was very quiet, and she likes to process things internally, so um, she, I'm trying, to find a br I'm trying to find a brush in this giant pile of brushes, so um, give me a minute. So I didn't really know at first what um, Julie was actually sort of taking in and what she understood because she was taking time to process it herself. Um, but I remember her asking me, you know, do we still pray for baby? And I was like, yes, of course we do. And she's like, even though baby's not in your tummy. So she understands it a little bit or as much as you can when you're five. Did they grieve the way Chris and I did? No. Did I expect them to? No. They're kids. We explained what was going on and they seem to accept that. And then the final question I want to answer regarding the miscarriage um, is just regarding how far along I was. Uh, that is a very big question people have been asking me. Um, I was very late in the first trimester um, and yeah, that's that's how far along I was. Um, it doesn't matter to me. It could have been the first five weeks. It could have been 12 weeks. It could have been 20 weeks. I was heartbroken because that was my baby. Um, not that you guys were suggesting anything different. It was just sort of a curiosity thing. But um, yeah, I was devastated and surprised because both of my other pregnancies and deliveries were like textbook. They were so just like... The, exactly as you would expect and so this one sort of took me by surprise um, and made me realize that it can happen to anyone by the way in case I forget um, to mention any of these makeup products I will do my best to remember um, this is the L'Oreal true match super blendable um, concealer but in case I do forget I will link everything down below for you guys the other question I got asked a lot of was getting my thoughts on the drama in the beauty community um, I am not really involved in any of it, um, intentionally, if you can believe that. Oh, I need a sponge. I'm doing powder now. I forgot to bring a sponge down. Hang on. I am personally exhausted by it. I think it makes the YouTube community in general look pretty embarrassing and immature. And I have a bunch of ideas of things that I want to do in the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned that I hope will bring more positivity to this beauty, I don't even know if I wanna call it a community right now. I feel like each individual YouTuber has a community, but I feel like we're pretty disjointed as a crew. Um, so I kind of wanna do something that hopefully people can rally behind, hopefully will feel very positive, and I'm really excited about it. So stay tuned, couple weeks, I'm excited. Oh my gosh, my skin looks really good right now. I'm using a mixture of the Lawless foundation and also the Seal the Deal loose setting powder and dying. 
I'm gonna go right now. I do have not been wearing a ton of foundation recently, so this may just be a shock from lack of foundation for the last two weeks. Oh, I just realized the door is blinding you. Sorry, everyone. Some more questions that you have. Uh, what is my favorite brand of coffee? Well, that's a good question. I don't think I found one that's like an absolute must have for me. I use the, um, don't even know what it's called. Oh, it is the Breville Grind Control Coffee Maker and it is so good. I'm so glad we bought it on like a Black Friday sale or something last Christmas or Christmas before. I don't know, it doesn't matter, it's a game changer. I'm obsessed with it, it is so good. Oh, there it is. Um, I'm using the Sigma Sculpt. This is their highlight and contour palette. I have not used Sigma makeup in so long, so I'm excited. They just sent me like a big press package, so let's, let's play with this a little. But yes, it is unbelievable, this coffee maker. So it basically, it takes all the beans and it grinds them fresh every single time. So you can either do a one cup, six cup, 12 cup. I feel like I'm not like a commercial for this. I'm not, but I love it. It is really good. And right now I think we're using Zavita coffee beans in case you're interested. I also got a lot of questions about Chris and like, how is he doing? And um, what, how did you guys meet? And what's the most romantic thing? Like just a ton of questions around him. I feel like I've answered the question on how we met, but like, Shortening it up, we met at university. We were in the same business program and his best friend from high school was the guy that I sat beside in all my classes, Jason. Shout out to Jason, he's amazing. So that's how we met. He asked me out on a date, made me dinner. We went out to a movie, the rest is history. And in terms of how he is doing, he is doing better. I would say again, just like me, um, you know, every day is a little bit better. For him, for me, I needed to have like a lot of um, like time to grieve and then time to just like spend time with family and just kind of like not think about it and then grieve. And I needed that up and down and Chris just needed to like process everything all at once. So we were a little bit different on that, but I feel like we've kind of come out to the same level right now of where we're at. So um, he's doing much better though. <laughs> Another question is where I get my PJ pants from? So these ones that I constantly wear all the time are actually part of a gift set that was sent from Loving Dan like two years ago or something. And I can't stop wearing them. I wish I knew where they were from. I wish I could tell you guys, I have no idea. Another question I have here is, do you work out? And if so, how do you find the time? <laughs> oh, editing Rachel's laughing a lot right now. No, I do not work out. Um, I laugh and say that, you know, my, my kids are my workout because I run around and stuff with them. But like, no, I don't go to a gym. I don't do workouts. I should, I should. It is very, very important, but I don't. Oh, this is so sweet. Um, what can we do right now to encourage and love you and your family the most? I love that. Guys are so nice. I want to say this, and I think that this is important, and this applies to any YouTubers that you love and think are good people and want to support in some way. The best thing that you can do is watch their videos. Just taking time to either having them on in the background or watching them on your way to work or school or watching them while you're doing chores or just anything like that. That's a great way to support YouTubers that you believe in. Um, that's what I do personally. I like to um, comment on different YouTubers videos and watch their videos and talk about different um, YouTubers that I admire on my channel and things like that. I think that's so important. This is how most of us make a living. This is how we pay our mortgages. This is how we feed our families. This is everything. And when you watch our videos, that is allowing us to continue to do what we love to do. Your viewership does matter. And it, it means so much to me that you clicked on this video, that you've watched my videos. And that means to me that you're supporting what I'm doing. I, I can't explain in words how encouraging it is when I see how many people are watching my video and seeing all the comments and just knowing that you guys believe in me and I'm working on other products that I'm really excited about for you guys. And I've been trying to put some energy into it over the last, probably a couple of these projects for the last year and a half or so. And 
they're still being worked on, but they're, I'm just, I'm so excited. And it's because you guys support my videos that I'm able to, you know, invest into these other exciting ventures that I'm so, I don't even have words. I'm so excited to share them with you. But this applies to any YouTubers that you appreciate, that you love, you love what they're doing, you wanna see them continue to do well, and that's a great way to motivate them. Watch their videos. What is your favorite meal for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? We all know cookies, but what else do you like to eat? Oh, uh, yeah, cookies. I would say that my favorite, I'm trying to think of breakfast. Like breakfast is actually one of my favorite meals of the day. I don't know, I think it's, it's probably because of coffee. It's not even the breakfast, it's just the caffeine. I think probably my favorite is French toast. I do love a really good French toast. That's probably my favorite breakfast. And then lunch, I don't know. Lunch is sort of like a anything that's in the fridge. I do like a good salmon sandwich or like a rotisserie chicken and I'll put a bunch of vegetables and cheese and like a bagel and like make something out of that. Um, my mother-in-law makes a really good soup and she's been spoiling us rotten over the last couple of weeks and she made this giant vat of it and it's like sweet potatoes and like four different types of mushrooms and garlic and onion and it's so unbelievably good. And then for dinner, I actually did a video on Rachel's life and Chris on camera made me my favorite meal. Hello everyone. Is that good? Yeah, film without me. Everything from cake to dinner to sides like everything he even made homemade pickles that he was committed so i will link that video for you guys in case you are interested but that that is definitely my favorite meal that chris makes it's beyond another question i have is did i decorate my house yes i chris and i both sort of pooled our d different styles and sort of put them together into our home um, but yeah, I decorated myself. I had a lot of help from one of my friends. Her name is Lisa Canning and she helped me sort of like pick and choose like, is it this color or this color? What's going to look best in the house and like things like that. And she's amazing. She has a YouTube channel too. If you want to go and check it out. Um, by the way, I'm using a mixture of the Maybelline, this is the Maybelline city mini palette. This is the matte one and the Sigma Dream Palette, which is a collaboration with um, Sigma and Beauty Bird. But overall, yes, Chris and I decorate everything ourselves. We are doing a lot of renovation projects um, coming up in 2019, end of 2018 probably, like new countertops. Um, we are going to be renovating the basement and redoing Luke's room. Like there's a lot of projects that I'm very, very excited about that um, we're still kind of working on and everything, but I will be filming some videos kind of going through the renovation process and taking you guys kind of behind the scenes on picking everything out and why we chose the different pieces that we chose and things like that on Rachel's Life. So if you are not subscribed, go and subscribe because that will probably happen probably in January, probably in January. Diane asks, what is on your Christmas list? Um, I wish I knew Diane, I have no idea. I am a terrible person to buy presents for. Like, I, I never know what I want. I can never think of anything. And throughout the year, if I want something, I'll probably just go out and buy it. Cause most of what I want is makeup and I can justify buying makeup because I'm gonna film it. Usually my family gets me like a, like a facial or some sort of like a spa treatment or something, which is always really nice. So I, I enjoy going for those every once in a while. So I will probably get something like that. Um, I can't, I honestly, I have, no, I have no idea. I feel like I'm not using either of these palettes like to their fullest potential. Um, I've only used like a couple of shades per, so I will continue to use them. So far, I really like them. Um, I do wanna give you an update on the ABH palette. This is the Sultry palette. A lot of you guys were saying like, oh, you guys need to, you need to test more shades and stuff like that. So I have been reaching for this a lot more recently. Um, and I do really like these mattes. Once, just in shades that I haven't used in a long time, if that makes any sense. I've been reaching for so many warm tones because everyone does warm tones. So this is just kind of a nice little break and I've been really liking how they've been looking on my eyes, these two shades in particular. The, the metallics are nice. They're nothing that's like, wow, stand out amazing, but they are nice. Um, so overall, yeah, I've been playing with this a lot and I will continue to. Let's get into more of these questions here. Um, how do you balance friends, family, and work priorities and also have time for yourself? Um, 
I don't. I wish that I had a good answer for this, um, but I am really struggling. I struggle a lot to find balance in my life. Um, my friendships tend to suffer a lot. I don't see my friends that often or as much as I would like to, um, which I mean, I have good friends. Like they know that I'm busy. They know I have a lot going on. And when I do see them, it's just kind of like picking back up where we left off. Like it's never a thing. Um, but I have lost a lot of friends over the years. I really place a lot of emphasis on family time and I work full time. My family, my in-laws, they mean a lot to me and I spend a lot of time with them too, my family, and then YouTube. And then in terms of me time, I mean, partly when I'm filming, that's me time. Like this is me just kind of relaxing and having fun and doing what I enjoy doing. So this is me time. Um, and then also probably after I finish all my editing and everything at the end of the night, if I have time, um, Chris and I will sit down and we'll have snacks and we'll watch Netflix shows and stuff like that. And that's a really nice downtime. And I've been, I've been doing that more lately because I haven't been doing YouTube stuff. Um, and we've been spending more time just sort of like cuddled up on the couch watching shows. And it's really helped me a lot. Um, and just realizing how, I don't know how to explain it, how strung up, how anxious I was all the time and how I was just working and working and working and working and working. I wasn't taking any time for myself. And so I've been really trying to wake up earlier. I've been trying to just prioritize my time a little bit differently so that I can have that time at the end of the day to just unwind because I didn't really do that before. For all of you out there that think I've somehow mastered balance, you are wrong. I struggle with it a lot. I get really emotional about it a lot because I have constant mom guilt about not spending enough time with my kids and like, should I be, you know, doing this and how do I prioritize my time differently? How do I balance all these work priorities and also spend time with my kids? And like, it, it's super overwhelming for me and something I genuinely struggle with a lot. Um, and I feel like a lot of moms do, like, I feel like that's a, that's a thing that we do. And I, I have to keep telling myself over and over that I'm a good mom and I spend time with my kids and being present with my kids means no phone, hanging out with them, spending time doing whatever they want to do. And then when they go to bed or when they're busy doing their own thing or they're happy playing by themselves, cause my kids do enjoy doing that too then I can do other things. But man, it is a hard thing to learn how to do. I struggle with it every single day. Ooh, we have a couple of good questions here about Christmas traditions. Um, and am I looking forward to it? What things are coming up for me around Christmas time? Favorite traditions, stuff like that. Um, let me see here. Uh, oh, by the way, <laughs> I just realized I unboxed a product. I didn't tell you what it was. Wow, I am rusty today. This is the L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara that has some sort of like a weird twisty thing. I don't know. You can like bend it to different angles to make it fit your eyes better. I don't know. I feel like, was it Lancome that did this a while ago? Like a swan one? I think it was Lancome. How do you, how do you bend it though? Oh, remove this. Got it. Aha. Bending, all right. Oh, it's just one angle. It doesn't bend everywhere. It just bends to the side. Cool. So first of all, am I ready for Christmas? No, no, I am not. Um, Chris has a birthday towards the end of November, and so we tend to decorate after that. And then in terms of traditions with the kids, like we have stockings, we have um, the advent calendar, we um, read Christmas stories and things like that. I'm trying to think of other Christmas traditions. Um, my mother-in-law always gets me and my three sisters-in-law matching Christmas pajamas. So we do that every single year. And I'm trying to think of anything that's like weird or different. Like I feel like I have the same traditions that everyone else has. But Christmas is by far and away my absolute favorite holiday of all time, bar none, hands down, best thing ever. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm also not looking forward to it, but I'm mostly looking forward to it. And uh, it'll be nice to just, I don't know, focus on it a bit. What is something that you would tell your 15 year old self if you could? Um, hmm, 15 year old Rachel. 
what was she doing? I think my biggest piece of advice is that high school does not last forever and that once you're out of it, you realize how little and small, like it's such a small portion of your life. And that was a big thing that I learned afterwards. I'm like, oh, oh, there's a big world out here after high school. Cause I hated high school. High school was the worst. I ate lunch in the bathroom. And then the other thing would be just like not sweating the small stuff. Um, I tended to be very anxious and wanting perfect grades and every little thing had to be like perfect all the time and balancing my time. And yeah, I, I, it's kind of cheesy, but yeah, just not sweating the small stuff and just focusing on the big picture. I feel like I would have been a lot more chill. Also, maybe don't date a drug dealer. What do you like on your pizza? Uh, I am a Hawaiian, Hawaiian topping girl. Don't at me. I'm gonna be honest though, I like basically anything on pizza because it's pizza. A lot of questions about makeup brushes, surprisingly. Um, just like how many do I have and what are my favorites and how often do I wash them for realsies? Um, so I wanna answer that one because I, <laughs> I have changed that recently. So when I went out to LA and I visited uh, Sylvia and I did a video with her, so if, if you missed that, I'll link it for you guys if you're interested. Um, but the one thing that I noticed is she always had a container of brushes that needed to be washed and a container of clean brushes. And I'm just like thinking to myself, I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, cause like, I don't do that. I just use the same brushes over and over again. She was just very diligent with like, she uses a brush and she puts it into the container that needs to get washed. And then she moves on to a clean brush and she just has this system of rotation. And I was like, I need to do that. So now every time I use a brush for the most part, unless it's been like really, really lightly used, I do go through the process of washing them. So I've been, I've been washing my brushes like really frequently recently. What's your favorite part of doing your makeup? Oh, it has to be highlight. It, yeah, it has to be highlight. To me, it just changes my makeup look. It changes my skin. It makes it look like all glowy. I love po popping it into the inner corner, using it as an eyeshadow, dusting it on top of the cupid's bow. It just makes me look more alive. And so honestly, some days, if I don't wanna put on any makeup or like just like a very, very bare minimum amount, I'll put on mascara and highlight and that's it. And now on to a little lip gloss. This is the e.l.f. Modern Mattes. Metal, blah, 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 not Modern Mattes. As I hold a gloss filled with glitter. This is the Modern Metals Lip Gloss. Um, and I'm just gonna put this on top. And I think I wanna answer, how is your heart feeling today? I like that. That's a really nice one. Um, it's feeling real. Woo! That is very sparkly. No, I want to put color on underneath that one. Hang on, let's try that again. I'm going to use the MAC uh, Babe Town. This is the cream sheen lipstick. Um, my heart is feeling really good today. I was a little nervous to sit down and film today. Um, and I feel really good right now. I forgot how much I miss doing this and sitting down with you guys and just chatting about makeup and chatting about what's going on in my life. And it just, I feel better now. This is like a therapy session for me too. And it feels really good to be kind of a little bit back in the game and um, just talking to you guys. I'm excited to edit this video and just chat with you guys in the comments and find out what video you want me to film next and like all those things and just getting back into that is just really exciting for me. I'm excited to be filming again. I'm excited to come up with some new videos. Um, I'm excited to read all your comments. If you have any requests as per usual, leave them in the comment section. I love hearing from you guys. Um, thank you again so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting my channel, for supporting me over the last couple of weeks. It really means a lot to me. And um, I hope you guys are having a really great week. I love you all so much and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Love you all. Mwah.